this is Pradeep here. Today we are going to discuss what is string pool. So in Java interview question, no one will ask you what is string pool. But obviously they will ask you this concept with some different way. So let's write one string s equal to new string a, b, c. So in Java interview question, simply the interviewer will ask you with this statement and he'll ask how many objects it will create. Most of the time people answers one, but actually this is not correct. What happens, we'll see this one and we'll understand the string pool concept with that. So I'll create a Java heap memory. So actually what happens, in the java heap memory only we have a concept of string pool where all the string constants sits and if suppose you have two times a, b, c it will check in the string pool if it is there it will create one time only but how it works so let's yeah, create one heap uh, uh, pool here that is string constant pool we call it okay so when you write string s equal to new string a, b, c what happens in this pool only it will first create this abc constant and then in the runtime when it will go with this statement and it will find new string something like that so in that case it will go and in the heap also it will create an abc so if abc is not there first time it will create two objects one in the string pool and one in the heap itself so how many but it will refer it will refer to this abc only only thing is that it will create this in the string pool. Okay, now the second question the interview will ask you if I have already string s1 equal to new string abc again. What will happen in that case? So now how many objects will create? String pool only one time it will happen. If it is there, it will not again, it will not put again. But in the heap memory, if when it will go S1, S1 will see if it is in the string pool or not. If it is there, it will simply go and put again ABC in the heap on the. So now, how many objects it created with two statements? That is, two with this one, one with this. So total now three with these two statements. Now we'll see. We have a string pool concept. The advantage how we'll use that. String we have, we can write something like this. Now in this case, what will happen? It will not sit in the string. It will not sit in the heap memory. It will simply search. It is in the string pool or not? If it is there in the string pool, it will simply S2 will refer to this. It will not create again. But suppose we have a string. S3 with suppose some different value if you write something like this it will not go and sit in the heap memory only it will search in the string pool so S3 now it will search whether it's there or not it's not there so it will create one now this S3 will point to this BCD now we have suppose S3 now S4 we have suppose and that is same to ABC. So in this case, what will happen? S4 will point to ABC because string pool it will not search again. Sorry, it will not put again because ABC is already there. So let's try with this example. So what S equal to equal to S1 will print. It will simply search like S is ABC. This S1 will point this ABC. So both will give you false they are not equal because with equal to equal to we only check the references not what is internally there now if we take s equal to equal to s2 in this case this is pointing to this abc which is in the heap but this s2 is pointing to the abc which is in the pool so it will also give you false only now if suppose you have s2 and s3 compare with equal equal to as the, both are different, it simply print you false. But in the case of S, 
2 equal to equal to S4, this will give you true result. So this is the string pool concept. Hope you like this video. Now this string all beauty is because of the string is immutable. We'll see what is immutable and how we can create an immutable class in our next tutorial. With that, one more interesting question will come that is how you can prove string is immutable. So in this in the next tutorial we'll see all this. Till that time, bye bye and see you. Have a nice day.